Wow. It's just so sad without Brooke here. Like, it just doesn't seem like the Res Life show. Oh, wait, what's that? Brooke's calling. Hello? Hey, oh, Bella, let me, let me what's up, girl? Hey, what's up? Oh my gosh, I'm so sad that you're not here. I need to, but you know what? We've got to improvise. All right, hello, everyone. Yeah. Welcome back to the Res Life show. My name is Brooke. And I'm Bella. Whether you're still on campus or temporarily moved off, we want to keep you in the loop and still have fun while we're at it. All right, you guys may notice that we are not on stage together. That is because we are practicing social distancing uh, in a more intense rate. Uh, we just want to keep everybody safe, everyone here on campus mm -hmm. safe, and we want to encourage you all to practice the same. Um, just keep it, keep it safe, social distance, wash your hands. You know how it goes. Yeah. <sighs> but how, Bella. how are you today though, Brooke? I'm, I'm, I'm so sad that we are apart, but I'm so happy that we are together at the same time. You know? That's, that's good. I mean, and even though you're sad, I have a joke that might cheer you up. All right. Throw it at me. Okay. Okay. Did you hear about the two thieves who stole a calendar? I did not. <laughs> they both got six months. <laughs> okay, <laughs> moving on. Uh, <laughs> all right. Housing updates. Folks, President Patty Newhold has a very special message for all the seniors graduating this year. Um, be sure to check your email. It's involving details for online graduation. Um, so be sure to keep, stay updated on that. Bella, you're graduating, yeah. aren't you? Yes, I am, in fact. So that was really cool seeing that message from President Newhold Ravi Kumar about the virtual commencement. I'm really excited for it. So I hope to see all you other seniors there. Um, also, speaking of other important updates, housing sent out an email oh, earlier this week about um, extended stay options and move, spring move out. So make sure you check that email for all those details. Awesome, sounds great. All right, and also don't forget that marketing will be posting the links for our virtual mm. hangout sessions. So Monday the 27th, we'll be watching Incredibles 2, and Thursday the 29th, we'll be watching Extremely Wicked, Shockingly Evil, and Vile. Ooh, Fun that stuff. one's gonna be good. I hope you are all at those movies. Um, I know I will be. Mm hmm. Anyways, so now that we've gotten through all those updates, um, last time we've been asked, for the past few times actually, we've been asking yes. you guys to make memes. And here is one from one of my favorite groups. Um, their name is on the screen. <laughs> our, um, we gotta love those memes. I love memes and they really made a great meme. You know, I, I personally have not succumbed to downloading Bumble or Tinder or any of that, but that's there. Absolutely not. I, um, I'm taking this time with social distancing to focus on myself. So no dating for me, but I feel like that was pretty accurate. Mm hmm Well, stay tuned for our next Monday Mumblings Challenge. All right, and let's not forget a word from our in-house security expert, an update on our favorite on-campus waterfowl, McKinley Allen. It's Bob. Here he is enjoying his favorite snack, grass. Now, geese really enjoy seeds, nuts, grass, plants, and some berries. Man, I still love those geese. I Every wonder day. If I wonder if they're still like out on Plunkett Park. I wonder if, our, if Kenny saw them whenever he was showing us how to do those frisbee moves last time. Yes, very athletic. So not me. Mm -hmm. um, oh, definitely but not me. I'm sure Kenny and the geese are having a wonderful time. Mm-hmm. Why don't we let someone else go ahead and show us something new? Um, remember, if you're interested in sharing something you know how to do, you can send in a clip for Housing Homemade. Email mtitterington at uco.edu for more details. Hello. 
I am the unknown juggler. Today, I'll be showing you how to juggle. For starters, those who have never juggled before, it can be easy to have a very light object, such as a tissue or a very lightweight handkerchief, to begin the juggling process because these items will float very slowly back down. However, I'll be showing you with balls instead. To begin juggling, it's all about pattern, repetition, and muscle memory. You'll take one ball in your right hand and you'll toss it to your left hand with an arc that goes about nose or eye level before falling back down at its peak. Like this. And you continue this motion, this pattern, until you're comfortable and you feel that you can throw it about head level every time. Then, before you add a second ball, make sure that your arms are loose, they're to your sides, about 90 degrees, you can relax your shoulders, the movement will all be in your forearms, in a very rhythmic pattern. Tossing, catching. Now, in adding a second ball, you will begin with tossing simply from two catches, from the right hand, and then as the ball hits the peak point, you will toss the second ball to the right hand, like so. Again. Then, once you practice that, you may begin to practice starting from your left hand, tossing to the right hand. Again, reaching its peak point, tossing underneath. Left to right, left to right. So, we have right to left, catch, pause, left to right. And you'll continue this until you have this pattern down from right to left, left to right. And then continue until you get it a little bit faster. Once you have this pattern down, you can add a third object, but remembering that uh, you will always toss the ball underneath of the ball tossed prior. So from one side, then underneath, then underneath, then underneath, then underneath. You'll actually see the balls take on a figure eight pattern if you're able to watch each ball uh, by itself. I will now show you with three to show you what cascade juggling looks like, but I'll show you with a soccer ball so you can watch the figure eight pattern take place. You'll start with two in one hand, one in the other. Of course, the first throw will be with the hand with two balls. And when you toss, again remembering to keep it eye level when it hits its peak underneath, like so. You'll notice that the soccer ball is taking this figure eight pattern and each ball will follow the exact same path following one after another. This is cascade juggling with three balls. When you've mastered this, you can begin with knife throwing. I will now complete and perform for you cascade juggling with knives, but I will do so blind. So, Rick, did you get a good nap in between now and the last show? I did. In fact, I enjoyed it so much, I did it probably twice a day every day. <laughs> <laughs> you know, good. personal care, that's what's most important during these times. 100%, I agree. Mm -hmm. Speaking of, but, do you have a new challenge? Yeah, um, Marcus, can you bring up? Oh, Marcus isn't here because we're social distancing. I, I guess I can get my own challenge wheel. I, I, I guess. Uh, okay, well, Rick, you can't see the challenge wheel. Um, I cannot. You have but to update I'll go that. ahead and spin it for us too, you know? <laughs> and ready, steady, go! This is so sad. Winner! Red, what's our red challenge for today? What is our red challenge for today? Let's see. Ooh, I'm excited for this one. 
read is try on all of your clothes and determine whether or not they spark joy a la Marie Kondo. I loved that show. I binge watched it in one weekend. So, you know, especially now that it's so close to move out, that might be a great thing to do to, whenever you're packing is get rid of things you don't need. You know, I am a big fan of RuPaul's Drag Race. And so I love a good runway walk. Um, mm. <laughs> so I will definitely give myself a little fashion show and throw it in some clothes. Awesome. Okay, well, before we go, I have a very quick little story for everyone. So my happy UCO memory for this episode is back at the beginning of March, right before all this craziness happened, um, two of my closest friends came over to the suites and we went out in the courtyard and set up a hammock out there and it was some of the best weather we had had and it just started getting warm and we just had a good time we hung out on the hammock for an hour or so just talking chilling um, we almost fell but you know it was still a lot of fun and i just love hanging out with my friends you know hammocks are both relaxing and scary at the same time i just i don't trust them but i want to you know what you know? oh yeah i've had some I, pretty good oof. naps but i've also had some pretty scary falls almost falls it's terrifying yeah. i have legs so it's hard to get out sometimes so. <laughs> well Alrighty. well thank you all so much for joining us today um again stay social distancing wash your hands stay safe out there and keep your eyes open for any more housing updates from your email and from our show thank you bye